Rara Lake trekking is hands down one of the most beautiful trek in Nepal. It is one of the largest lake in Nepal. Every year thousands of visitors visit the lake from all over the world. Rara Lake lies at an elevation of 2,990 meters with an area of 10.8 km square. It is beautifully surrounded by green hills and Rara National Park makes it a good trekking destination but during the winter it gets snow blanket around. Also the view of snow clad Himalayan peaks enhances the beauty of Rara Lake. This mesmerizing trek to Rara Lake is located in the remote northwest part of Nepal. The trek starts from pulsating capital city and takes you to the remote area of Zumla district. Rara Lake trekking apparently is quite easy and appropriate for all level of trekkers. With the basic level of fitness, beginners and intermediate level of trekkers can easily complete this trek. We can possibly able to hike for 4 to 6 hours over hilly terrain with a light day pack. So this trek doesn't require any previous trekking experience and technical experience. The spring, September to October and autumn season March to May are the best time for Rara Lake trekking. During this time the weather will be pleasant and you will get splendid views of Himalayas reflecting in the lake. On our first day, we were off to Nepal Guns and we stayed in hotel overnight. Second day early in the morning, we caught the bus to travel up to Gotejula, Sinja Valley, Jumla via Kornalia Highway mainly, which took us about two days in full to reach. After traveling two days in a bus, we were up to Nagma. It was just after monsoon in the month of September, hence the bus could only reach up to Nagma due to flood in a highway. We got up from bus, stayed overnight in a local hotel on third day. The fourth day morning, we woke up early and after having breakfast, we started our hike. On the same day, we made up to Kotejula, Sinja, passing through beautiful greenery Sinja Valley along with Sinja River. Sinja Valley contains the archaeological evidence of the capital city of well-organized and influential Western Malla and Khasa Kingdom of 12th and 14th century. After the 14th century, the Khasa Kingdom is split into the base of 22 kingdoms, which existed until the unification of Nepal in the late 18th century. Excavations have revealed the remains of old places, temples, for example, Kanak Sundari and Tiripura Sundari, and the old settlement. A remarkable ring of huge monolithic stone columns were found surrounding the ruins of the ancient settlement with Malla Gateway and steps. The Shinza Valley was where the Nepali language originates from, and the earliest example of the Devnagari script from the 13th century were found on the cliffs and in nearby Dulu. To establish the authenticity of the place, excavations have been carried out by Department of Archaeology and Cambridge University. The archaeological sites are in good condition, comparison with other similar properties. There are several sites in the area which originate from the Khasa Kingdom such as the Surkhet Valley. The site of Kakra Bihar and Dulu where various structures have been found. Panchadewal, stone columns and the ruins of places. It was long a hike when we reached Gotejula Jumla. We stayed in hotel and during dinner time we collected hiking information after Rara Lake from the owner of the hotel. The owner was so helpful and the dinner was quite good as you all. On our fifth day morning we started walking uphill from Gotejula and passing through hills, creeks, watery streams in a beautiful green hillsides. Trekkers are recommended to bring their own first aid kit due to the lack of health services around the area. Trekkers need to be self-sufficient as the facilities are not adequate. Rara can be next major place for tourists to visit. During 1997 to 1998, the number of tourists visiting to this place was around 
560, but in 2007, it decreased to 87 individuals. Rara festival was conducted by the Nepal Tourism Board in early 2007 to promote domestic and international tourists. Not to forget mentioning the area is covered by blooming colorful rhododendrons during spring season, which adds unique and incomparable beauty around the lake. Rara Lake Trek also lies in Rara National Park, which is one of the most enthralling national park to observe diverse wildlife. The national park consists of several blue pines, black juniper, oaks, cypress, and rhododendron forests. The forests have been home to Himalayan black bear, musk deer, leopards, goral, thar, and red panda. These forests are also home of more than 200 species of colorful birds and butterflies. In winter, there is often snow on the ridges surrounding the lake, which gives the lake a heavenly look. Rara Lake has been a popular destination with a very rough route in western Nepal for trekkers, but in recent years it's getting better and better. The glimpses of culture and scenery on the way is quite different from the rest of Nepal. Situated in high altitude, you can find lakes surrounded by Rara National Park with pine, spruce, juniper forest. The view of snow-capped Himalayan peaks enhances the attraction of trekkers. The trek begins with flight to Jumla or up to Talza from near Nepal Ganj. Going along the mountain path and some villages, one can reach bank of Rara Lake. The easiest way to get up to Rara is flying from Nepal Ganj to Talza Airport. From Talza Airport, it takes about three hours uphill and you can reach the magnificent Rara. Nepal Airlines and Tara Air operates flights to Rara from Nepal Ganj and it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to reach Talza Airport. After hiking seven hours, we finally reach up to here from where we can see magnificent Rara Lake. We had a, like a little tea break during our path in a, a small tea house. Now we will be going downhill for about two hours to reach the lake and we will rest overnight in the lake side. The main occupation of the people living around the area is agriculture and tourism. Due to recently increased number in tourism, they have a increased opportunity. People also rear goods and extract medicinal herbs and sell them to the local markets. Thakur society is dominant in the community. Thakur Baba temple is situated in the southeast corner of the lake. Local people believe that God Thakur shot an arrow to open the passes of the lake, reducing the damage caused by flooding. Due to overgrazing and defection, the National Park Conservation officers are facing challenge to preserve the lake. Local people are found cutting timber wood and fuel wood, which is a problem for conservation of Trara. Also during festivals, visitors and locals produce a lot of wastage causing water pollution in the lake. The lake holds three endemic fish species, Nepalese snow trout, the Rara snow trout, and one endemic frog, Rara lake frog. The winter visitor water birds such as Godwal, Mallard, Northern Solver, Common Teal, Tufted Duck, Common Golden Eye, Common Morganser, Common Coot, and Solitary Snipe reside and rest at this lake. Rara Lake being surrounded by Rara National Park has unique floral and faunal importance with rare and vulnerable species. The park was established in 1976 to preserve the beauty of the lake and protect it from sedimentation and adverse human activities. The park flora consists of 1,074 species, of which 16 are endemic to Nepal. The fauna includes 51 species of mammals and 214 species of birds.
After walking down two hours, we finally reached the bank of Rara Lake. It was almost late in the evening, so we were about to see sunset in a beautiful Rara Lake. Beautiful reflection of the sunset. After watching sunset, we had our dinner and we started going to our bedrooms. We found footing and lodging are much better than what people say. We woke up around 9 o'clock in the morning because we were a bit tired from last few days hike and we started having our tea and breakfast. Since then, we started walking around the lake, observing the beautiful flora fauna around the lake, the fish, birds, wild animals. We walked around the lake for about 5 hours and we reached up to the Militor, which is other side of the lake from where we stayed overnight. The Rara Lake lies at an altitude of 2,990 meters above sea level and it has a water surface of 10.8 km square, a maximum depth of 167 meters and is 5.1 km long and 2.7 km wide. It drains into the Mugu Karnali River via the Nija River. Its water quality is characterized by high pH, conductivity and total hardness. It has been classified as oligotrophic as it is slightly polluted. After spending whole day in the lake, we stayed overnight on the lakeside hotel. We woke up in the morning and it was so hard to say goodbye to this beautiful lake but we had to leave and we started walking from lakeside to Talza airport which took us about 3 hours because we were observing and uh, taking photographs videos along the path as well. Talsa Airport is located at an altitude of 2,735 meters above the sea level in Rara National Park in the Mogo district. The shape of airport looks like a key, hence the name Talsa. Even though it was constructed back in 2032 BS, but it was blacked up recently. After walking downhill for a while, we reached up to the Talsa Airport. Due to bad weather, there wasn't any plan going up to Nepal Gun, so we had to stay around the place. We had a delicious local apples from the farm as well. We had booked for plane for next day, and. Uh, we woke up around 9 o'clock in the morning and the plane was there around 10 o'clock. And we flew back to Nepal Guns, making our way to home. Nowadays, it's getting easier and easier every day to reach up to Rara Lake. So, we had a fantastic experience over here. As I told earlier, it is relatively easy track, hence anyone can make it up to here. Please come and visit our lake, it's a beautiful piece of nature, you will definitely love it. It took us about 9 days in total to complete this track, but you can do it in really short time as well. The shortest time will be to fly up to Talsa and walk 3 hours uphill to reach Rara Lake and get back on the same route.
i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up if you like it and share and subscribe for more videos thank you have a pleasant time in nepal